let's go. Excellent start. And then look at this, look at the response. One of my long-term favorite cars from back in the day. Welcome back everyone. Today we have a 2017 Infiniti QX50 on our channel. I want to say a huge thank you to Christian at Shihi Nissan of Manassas for providing me this car. All his information will be in the right hand side corner of the screen. So if you're looking for a car, make sure to reach out to him. Well, let's get her started up and let's go check out the exterior. Infiniti QX50 is one of my long-term favorite cars from back in the day. The 3.7 liter is a gem of an engine. It's an excellent powertrain with good power, excellent sound. I love the design of this QX50. This is the all-wheel drive version. 3.7 liter. Well, let's hop in the back and see how it is in the back. So hopping in the back here, I'm six feet two. Six foot two. There's lots of space for me here in the back. Let's look at the interior. We have a center armrest with cup holders. All the materials feel amazing, very high quality. We have the pockets here in the back. The windows here are not fully automatic, so you gotta hold the button down. But since we have child locks on, we're gonna have to manually get out of the infinity. Let's check out the trunk. This is not an automatic lift gate, you have to do it manually. Check this out. Good amount of space. and under the hood. So this is the 3.7 liter V6. It's made it to the seven speed automatic. And I believe makes around, uh, makes 328 horsepower. Well, let's get started on our drive soon i will share some of the basic features of this car so here we have the map navigation the bluetooth audio dual zone climate our heated seats right here our storage compartments cup holders i gotta say i love the seats these are the same seats that I believe the FX has. And here's the shade. Let's do a wiper test. And a horn test. All right, so let's get started on the test drive. I did try a little bit of a different format for today's video. Let me know what you think of it. Do you like the typical format more where I just do everything from uh, POV? Or do you like it with a more of a close-up angle that I did right now? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback. And if 
a lot of you like this format more, then I will change it to that. And let's get started. While well, setting off in this 2017 Infiniti QX50, what can I say first? These are great seats. I love how they feel. They're supportive, they're the perfect width for my shoulders. They kind of hug me. The ride is comfortable, pleasant. I'm not feeling any road imperfections in my back. It's very stable. It's got good direct feedback from the, from the steering. And I just like how this car glides. We're going highway speed and it feels super nice. The throttle is responsive. Got a good punch from that V6. Wind noise is very minimal. There's just a little bit of wind noise somewhere, but it's still very quiet overall. I think there may be something on our, on our grill that's causing like a little sound. All the materials inside the cabin feel great. They're high quality. The wheel could be a little bit thicker and I really wish that they used the steering wheel from the Infiniti FX because this design kind of gives me, I don't know, Ultima vibes, I'd say. But, you know, it's still a good steering wheel. It's a good size. It fits comfortably in my hands. We also have the lane keeping aid, the distance, uh, the adaptive cruise control. And we also have the blind spot system as well. They never integrated that in the Infiniti QX70 or the FX prior. Unfortunately, unfortunately they did not. I love how much power there is up top from this 3.7 liter engine. It's got so much juice. Like you give it gas and it just keeps spinning, 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 and there's more and more and more power coming. I wonder how close this QX50 is in terms of acceleration to the uh, FX50S. Because to me right now it feels quite quite similar on the power at least you know from my inner dyno not the draggy but like what I feel we have a audi audible alert for the blind spot Playful, playful car. We also have the sport mode. Well, let's slow down a bit. So the sport mode keeps our RPMs a little bit higher. Oh yeah, it's even better that way. I've heard complaints about the seven speed transmission that it's not fast enough or doesn't respond quickly. I, I don't I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. I think this seven speed does a terrific job of putting the power down and getting into the right gear like this. Like you give it some gas, it goes. And if then if you also have it like in sport for example like a and then Look at this. Look at the response. And you're telling me that is not enough? Obviously this is not a race car, but I mean it gets the job done so well. It hugs the road well. Corners nicely. There's minimal body roll.
you also don't feel the speed on it at all. If you're going 70, 80, it feels like a 40 to me. As far as the handling difference between the FX and this, this is definitely um, more playful on the handling. It's got less body roll and you can feel that it's a lighter, more agile car in terms of performance. On the way back right now, we're going to just do some more driving. I will do an acceleration test with Draghi, see how quick this QX7, a QX50 is. All right, so let's check the U-turn radius. Very good on tight radius. Push in that pedal. We have a very windy day today, so don't be surprised by all that additional wind noise coming. It's just the high wind. the visibility here you can see everything clearly this is our lane keeping system telling us that we are getting out of our lane So you will see the zero to 60 in the next clip. Three, two, one, let's go. Excellent start. Okay, so let's look at our times. So we did zero to 60 in 6.23 seconds. Our 1 8th mile came at 9.33 at 76.59 miles per hour. Definitely some good times. If we disabled the, um, the stability, the traction system, I wonder if that will do anything. But let's give this one more try. All right. I'd be, okay, let's see what this does. All right. Let's boost it. Let's go. So this time we did zero to 60 again, even with the brake boost, we did 6.35 and the one eighth mile at 9.42 at 75.59. I think we did some really good numbers for such a windy day with all this air blowing towards us. We could have definitely shaved off a couple of tons if the weather was better and we didn't have all this wind in our face. 
because there's more resistance trying to get through this air. Um, so to sum up the test drive, I really like this Infinity. I love the way it drives. It's got good materials everywhere. The seats are super comfortable. And we have this wonderful Subaru coming up. I love how all these STIs are pretty much like customed out. But yeah, back to our topic. Um, I think this is a great, great compact SUV. I wish they kept making them. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching everyone. Make sure to leave a comment, let me know what you think. Click on that like button and subscribe. And until next time.